And of course, so many friends and family members uh, right across the country are remembering Gordon Pinsent, among them actor and comedian Mark Critch. Here he is with Pinsent in a sketch on This Hour Has 22 Minutes. I've come to seek your permission to step down as premier. Well, well did you get everything I asked? Did you get the oil? Yes, Godfather. Did you get Lower Churchill? Yes, Godfather. Did you throw a tantrum like a huge baby every time you didn't get your way? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did that. Yeah. Well, then, the power invested in me as Supreme Newfoundlander and Canadian icon Gordon Pinson, I release you. What an icon. And Critch was, of course, a friend of Gordon Pinsent's, the fellow Newfoundlander. Join me to uh, speak just last hour. Here's one of the fond memories that he shared. Well, whenever I would go up to Toronto, I'd, I'd, I'd get a little package of Newfoundland items, you know, some snacks from here, uh, books, whatever, and, and go visit uh, Gordon. And uh, we'd sit and we'd talk and we'd laugh and he'd tell me about all the different things he was working on and the things he was writing and he'd like a bit of gossip from home. And he, I, I got to his condo, I got off the elevator and he was down by his door with his arms out waiting for me to get to him like a kid. <laughs> he, every time I saw him, he's like a kid. So I, I feel like he died. He, I, I, he's 92 years old. I heard he passed. I was shocked. Because in my mind, Gordon's eternally 12. I love it. And you also wrote that he was the best there ever was. Do you remember, you know, you feel like he was always kind of this 12-year-old. Do you remember the first time that you ever saw him perform and the effect that it had on you? I was a little kid sitting by my dad. And um, there was a TV show filmed here called Up at Hours that uh, it was shot in Newfoundland or, or late 70s early 80s and um dad turned in his chair and he said you see that man he played the american president in an american movie and he is from here <laughs> and uh, i i meant what and uh, he was he was like you know the newfoundland pope right i mean walking down the street with gordon was a bit like walking down uh, the street in Bethlehem with everybody wanted to touch the hem of his garment. But for us, he was Neil Armstrong. He was the first person on the moon. And uh, it, it, there was a time when, you know, you didn't think Newfoundlanders could be on the CBC. At a time when in Toronto, they sold Newfie joke books and things like that. And he was the exact opposite of that. And he, he cut the path. He came to New Canada as an immigrant. He was born in Newfoundland. And he went off to this other country to um, to find his, his star. And then eventually Newfoundland and Labrador caught up and we too joined Canada. But by then he had cut this path like he was working through the woods. And then he'd look over his shoulder to bring as many Newfoundlanders with him as he could. And uh, when I first reached out to him to do a, a piece making fun of Justin Bieber's autobiography, um, I thought it'd be funny if he could read this dramatically, you know. He's like, absolutely. And ever since then, he he could he could never he couldn't do enough for you, you know. So um, we we lost uh, the beacon uh, for Newfoundland Labrador artists. Oh, and we're all so sorry for that loss because he's had such an influence, certainly. Uh, I'm also just getting a message now from John Northcott, who used to host this program that I'm on now, and he suggests that I ask you about the Newfoundland dog story with Gordon. What is that story? Oh, okay. So last time Gordon was home, he was there from, he came in for my, uh, my wedding, and, uh, uh, and, he, and he said, uh, you know, I said, Gordon, anything you want to do, man? And he said, uh, you know, it's been a while since I've been to the top of Signal Hill. And so we go up to Signal Hill, and it's a windy day. And there's a lovely gentleman there with this big Newfoundland dog. And, I, and Gordon said, oh, I'd like to get a picture. Do you think I could get a picture with the dog? I'm like, Gordon Pinson, do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> so we go over and we get a photo with the dog. And, and then this, late, this uh, tour bus happens to be up there. And then somebody, and this lady comes over from, from Ontario and said, excuse me. Are we allowed to get a picture with the dog? And is that Gordon Pinsent? I said, it is Gordon Pinsent. She said, do you work for him? I said, yeah, I, I guess we all do. And she said, can we get a picture with him? And I said, well, every summer, 
The government of Newfoundland and Labrador has Gordon Pinson on the top of Signal Hill, the Newfoundland dog, for pictures all summer. Really? And I said, absolutely. So I went over to Gordon. I said, there's a lady who wants to get a picture with you. He said, okay, he takes a picture. I said, there's another lady. Okay. And there must have been like 40 people on this tour bus. And he sat there, kept looking at me. What's going on? I said, you still got it, kid. And uh, he stayed there all day talking to these people. But everywhere you wanted to go, that's all people wanted to do was see him. Because he was a Canadian icon, truly. And he did that. He became a household name in Canada doing Canadian art, telling Canadian stories. He wasn't somebody who went off to the States and, and be, played a superhero or something and came back and hadn't worked there. He is somebody who 100% became beloved uh, by telling Canadian stories. And I think it's a, it, it's, a, it's a deeper loss because of that. Well, and you call him a hero, a mentor, this man that meant so much to so many people in the business and beyond. But for people who didn't have a chance to know him personally as you did, what was he like kind of behind the scenes? Uh, thoughtful. I mean, every Christmas he'd call or FaceTime, every birthday, every Sunday, often on the Sunday we'd talk on the phone and he'd, uh, he's always checking in, see how you're doing. Are you working? You know, that kind of stuff. And, uh, but he, he was loving. He was so thoughtful. He would say the most beautiful things. And he said, the loveliest thing about love that I've ever heard. And we were talking about love and everything. Uh, and, uh, and he said that his lovely wife, Charm, who he loved with, with his all his soul, had passed. And he said that his favorite time of the day was just when you wake up. When, when you're not quite asleep, you're not quite awake. Because in those moments, he kind of feel for her, and she might still be there in his mind. And then as he woke up, he realized she wasn't. And he said, for those couple of seconds, when in his mind she was still there, that was the best part of his day. And I thought, mm. that's the most beautiful thing I'd ever heard. And, and I, just, I just hope they're finally back together again. Oh, my gosh, that's beautiful. What a great story. Um, as you're remembering his life and his legacy and you're thinking back on the many, many memories that you have about him, is there, is there a favorite that you're thinking about today? Oh, there's so many, but I remember we were shooting this movie, The Grand Seduction, you know, with Brendan Gleeson, who I was talking to about Gordon last night, and he was just so enamored and amazed by everything Gordon had ever done. And, uh, anyway, so we're out in this little community called Tickle Cove in, in, in Newfoundland, and we're shooting this thing, and there's a little store, a tiny store, right? Bread, some chips, a bit of bologna, not a, a pop, a few, and this little old lady behind the counter. And uh, I said to Gordon, I said, come on, Gordon, he loved the snack, his nickname was Porky, so I'd always say, come on, Porky, <laughs> Vincent, let's go to the store. And we walk over, and we open the door, dinkle, 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 and this lady is there behind the counter, and she looks up, and it's the Newfoundland Pope, it's Gordon Pinsent. And she just doesn't know what to do. And I'm walking along, and she goes, and once again, she goes, do you work for Mr. Pinsent? And I said, yes, I do. <laughs> and she said, do you think I could meet him? And I said, well, he's eyeing a bag of chips, and you're the only other person here, and you're on the cash. I think there's a good chance you're about to meet him. She goes, oh, I'd, I'd love to shake his hand. I said, I'll see what I can do. And I go over to Gordon. I said, look, big fan over here, man. Make it nice, will you? Put a, put a bit of spin on it. And he goes, got it. So he turns <laughs> around, and he goes, Madam, are you the propi proprietor of this establishment? She goes, oh, yes, I am. And uh, I said, may I say, this is one of the finest stores I've ever been in. <gasps> really? Oh, yes, absolutely. And uh, is your, does your parents, your parents own this place? Goes, oh, no, no, it's mine. Th oh, thank you so much for the experience. He kisses her hand and he walks out the door, dingle dangle, and she's 18 years old again. And uh, then she looks at me and she says, oh, someone's got to pay me for the chips. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, and that, you know, that was Gordon. Oh, man. And uh, it, it, was, it was just so lovely. And, and he, he, he still is. He's, we, the great thing is, Gordon Pinson will never die. I mean, there's a thousand interviews, a thousand plays, a million songs, and beautiful poetry. And uh, you can have a new Gordon Pinsent experience every single day for the rest of your life by just uh, celebrating the work. What a beautiful tribute, Mark. Uh, thank you so much. You're a great ambassador for your province and also telling us about your friend Gordon here. Again, I'm so sorry for your loss, but thank you so much for helping us all to understand him a little bit better this morning. Uh, one of the great honors of my life. Thank you so much.
and Mark Critch, the comedian there, with so many great stories about Gordon Pinsent. We're going to be gathering those stories throughout the day here on CBC News Network, and we're back in just a moment.